Professor Bob Young here, and we're going to look at some more arithmetic operations on functions. But in this video, we're going to do it a little bit differently here. Now, in the last episode, we defined some functions. We added, subtracted, multiplied, and divide. And we're going to do the same thing here. But we're going to do it with some graphs, and we're going to do it with some tables. So we're going to start out evaluating the function f plus g of 4. Now, again, remember, that's the bad way to write it, f plus g of 4. So the good way here in the middle would to be right f of 4 plus g of 4. Now, what does that mean graphically? Well, f of 4, remember, 4 in both of these functions, f of x being the blue line and g of x being it looks like the square root function in red, is they're substituting 4 in both functions for x. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go over to where x is 4, and I want you all to do that on the video here, and go up to the blue line, and I'm going to put a black dot there. All right, where does that land on y? So in other words, when we put 4 in for x, notice the function at y is 9. So remember, this is a fancy way to write ordered pairs, this functional notation. f of 4 equals 9 means when x is 4, y is 9. I know what y'all are saying. Why don't they just say that? Because <laughs> then you wouldn't have to know this great notation and how it's used. Now, g of 4, notice if you go over to where x is 4, and on the red graph, looks like the square root. I'll put a black point. It's right on the tip of the arrow. Then it looks like y lands at 2. So really, f of 4 plus g of 4 is really just where they land on y, 9 plus 2, and we get the value of 11. All right, now let's do the next one here, and I'll do this one. I'll go to a different color green down here lower. It says, what if we subtract f minus g of negative 2? All right, so again, let's write that the better way. Let's write f of negative 2 minus g of negative 2. And I've got everything in green now, so... I'm going to go over here on f of negative 2, the blue line, where x is negative 2, where's y? I'm coming down here in green and putting my dot. Well, it looks like y is at negative 2. So I'm just going to put that right under there. Now, the problem here, ladies and gentlemen, is g of negative 2, the red graph, if you go over to negative 2 on x, g of negative 2 is undefined. We can't do it. So what do you do if you've got negative 2 minus something that's undefined? I think you just have to say, no can do. Hmm. <laughs> you can't evaluate all functions. So that one would be a case where, you know, negative 2 does not fall anywhere on the G graph, and you have to say undefined. I know that didn't sit well with you all. So we're going to do some you can do here in the upcoming <laughs> slides and videos. All right, now let's go ahead and do f of f times g evaluated at 1 here, and we're going to use these similar graphs or same graphs. So again, bad, 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 the bad way. Write it the good way. f of 1 times g of 1. All right, now what's that mean? When x is 1 here, so if you didn't get it the first time, what is the y value here? And I'm going to put it in a black dot there. Y would be 3. So f of 1 would be 3. When x is 1 in the blue graph, y is 3. g of 1, I'll go ahead and put here, is 1. So if you can just look at the graphs and say, okay, when x is this, what's y? You can easily say, well, that's just 3 times 1 or 3. So graphically, not bad at all. What's that? You want to do the f divided by g of 0 here? All right. So let's go ahead and we'll write this the good way. We'll write it f of 0 divided by g of 0. Now, notice at 0, if we go up to the blue graph here, I'll put a black dot on it here, and I'll go ahead and arrow that up. When you all agree on the blue graph, the line, when x is 0, y is 1. And that's also stated right below here. 
All right, the problem here is, ladies and gentlemen, g of zero comes out zero. So, you know, when x is zero there, that g function is zero. And what kind of fraction do we have? Undefined. So there's another one you can't do. Now, notice uh, g of zero. We talked about this on a previous video. There are sometimes, like if g of zero, you could put zero in for x, and the g function won't come out to be zero, and you can do it. So just be aware of that as well. All right, now we're going to do the same type of uh, problems with tables now. So let's go ahead and look at this next example here. It says, if possible, go ahead and evaluate the functions, which tells me they may try to slip us something I don't know here. So we're going to look at f of 4 plus g of 4 here. So in this table, they're saying when x is 4, what is f of x? Now, notice they have a column here, f of x, all these values, when x equals certain values up top here. And then g of x would be these values. So if we're looking at f of 4, I'm going to start down here. Notice f of x is 9, and g of 4 is 2 in the table. So really, this is just reading the table here and saying 9 plus 2 gives us 11. Now, notice in the bottom down here, I'm going to switch colors. I'm going to go to, I'll go back to my violet here. Notice in the table, g of negative 2 is undefined. So when x is negative 2, g of x is undefined. So f minus g of negative 2 is undefined again. Are you all mad that we keep trying this one and it's like, hmm. <laughs> They always make it where we can't do it. All right, let's try the third one, f times g of 1. All right, so again, we came over here. I'll stay with violet, and we've got f of 1 times g of 1. So in other words, when x is 1, y on the f of x is going to be 3. And Actually, they should have a uh, g of x here. They've got h of x in this chart, so we need to fix that to g of x. What are they doing here trying to switch things on us? So when x is 1, g of x is 1, and we get 3 times 1, or 3. I think someone made a typo there. I wonder who. Probably Young. Sorry. <laughs> there it is. It's right on this one. I got the g of x in there. All right, so the chart is good. <coughs> I've still got this little uh, sinus infection going here, so I'm going to blame it on that. So even in the videos, Young has difficulty sometimes. So let's do the last one, f divided by g of 0, which is going to, we're going to write it the good way, f of 0 divided by g of 0. So in this one here, when x is 0, f of x is going to come out to be 1, as you can see above, but g of x is going to come out to be 0 in the chart which is undefined since g of 0 is 0. So this is going to be another one we can't do undefined. All right, now what we're going to look at next is we're just going to look at some more functions here. <coughs> Excuse me. And f of x is going to, we're going to evaluate this function as 2x plus 1. And g of x, we're going to let be the square root of x. So in this one, we're just going to go ahead. And this is similar to the video we did before this one. And actually assign some polynomial values to these two functions. And then we're just going to run through this real quick to make sure you all got it. So f plus g evaluated of 4. f of 4 plus g of 4. So f of 4 is, that's going to be the 2x plus 1 there. So they put 4 in for x. The g of x is the square root of x there, so they put 4 in here. And that gives us 9 plus 2, or 11. f minus g of negative 2, f of negative 2 minus g of negative 2. Now I'll go ahead and put that in green here. Again, we can plug negative 2 in the f of x here and get 2 times negative 2 plus 1. That comes out fine. But the g of x, when we put negative 2 in that square root, they keep doing it to that one. What is it? They have it out for that one or something? 
and they're just showing us differently, you know, how it's going to come out. Hmm. If we put one in for X in both F of X and G of X, we're going to get something we can do. We're going to get 2 times 1. Remember, this is F of X is 2X plus 1, so we're just putting in 1 wherever we see an X here. And in this case, since G of X is the square root of that, we can put 1 in here and get 3 times 1 is 3. And finally, the last one, F divided by G of 0 is undefined. See, because if we come over here, and they're just doing a recap on all of these, we'll just do this last one down here, F of X divided by G of X, I was wondering how long it would take my dog Lucky to go off today, would be 2 times 0 plus 1 over the square root of 0. Now, again, we have 0 in the denominator, <laughs> and it would be undefined. So just another way to look at evaluating functions, both graphically and with our charts. Uh, Professor Bob Young signing off. Have a great one.